crafty crab perfection. Today, we are gonna be making oobleck. If you don't know what oobleck is, it's a non-Newtonium liquid where if you punch it, it'll be like as hard as a rock and it can actually break your wrist. So don't try to punch it really hard. And if you just like gently put your fingers in there, it'll allow you to coil them out. But if you try to yank it out, it will not let you. But today I'm gonna be showing you how to make that. You'll need one cup of water, um, a half, let's see, one and a half cups of cornstarch, and then that's it. And these are a bit dirty, because I just did another video um, about how to make Play-Doh, and I use these. So yeah, but before we get started, I want to do a shout out to Plexus. This is my pink drink. Plexus helps your gut and your brain. And if you'd like to join, call this number. It's my mom's number, and she will tell you all about it and help you get started. I'll let you, or yeah, I'll let you guys take a screenshot of that. And this is an actual number. I promise I'm not scamming you. Got it? All right. I'll also pull that open at the end of the video if you did not get it. But Plexus does a whole bunch of different stuff for your gut. They do different fasts and a whole bunch of different stuff to help your body out. I am drinking my pink drink, which is black cherry lime, I think. I don't know. It's really good. All right, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to go fill up a hat or no one cup of water and it does not matter if it's warm or cold at all it just needs to be a cup of water so i will be right back so it's sealed all right and i also just want to let you know do not ever ever put oobleck down the drain it will clog your pipe so much you can't use them please do not pour it down the drain if you'd like to dispose the oobleck after you're done playing with it take a spot outside and dump it in the grass or the garden. It will not harm it. Just make sure after you take a hose or a watering can and you pour it over that spot where you put it and it'll be good to go. All right, so I filled my cup of water, maybe a little bit too full. I dripped some water as I walked back. The bowl is also a little bit dirty, but that's okay. I'm gonna pour my water in. There we go, and I will put that right here so you can type that. And then next I will need one and a half cups of cornstarch. I might run out, but I have another container right over there. Let's see, put that right there where you can still see it. I'm gonna put that up, oops, look at a cup. I'm pretty sure this is a half a cup, but I'm just going to measure it out to make sure that this is a half a cup. Maybe a tiny bit more. Alrighty. That's like that. And we still got some left over. Now we're going to take the spoon and mix it a bit. Oh gosh, I can already tell this is working. I can't get my spoon up in there, but if I go slow, it, it'll just melt. But if I try to play it, it's a ball. Let's see, let me mix this up. I'm gonna go very slowly. I'm trying to grab it right now. But see, it's liquid, but when you squeeze it, it turns into black. Don't worry, you just let it drip. It's not all the way in, but cornstarch and water are strange, I'd say. <laughs> and if it's still like very liquidy and you can't get it, to become the oobleck, you can also add some more cornstarch. Let's see, I'm gonna let my hand sink in there, and I'm gonna try to, oh, there's not enough. I'll probably have to put more in there. Just because everything's like actually on the bottom. <laughs> it's a strange fluid. All right, I'm gonna take some of this and just Sprinkle it all in there. I might end up having to pour that rest of that in here. Put my 
hand in there. And it's trying to suction me in there. I don't think I'm going fast enough. That's because I'm trying not to make a mess. And then through that phone number, I can also talk to you guys as well. Hmm. That's very interesting. So if I put the cornstarch in there, I can push on it and it can also pick it up. Strange. I've made oobleck a lot before, but that's from when I was like younger, so I didn't understand it. Let's see. I feel like I'm hitting just the bottom. I feel like I need to add more. I'm trying to get it to where I can actually show you guys. But yeah. I'm not splashed everything, so. Yeah, so basically, I think this is like the density. Like when you push on it, it gets super dense and it'll combine together. But when you just allow your hand to like gently seep through it, I'm not actually sure about the science behind this and who even tried it, first of all. Ooh, there we go. Let's see, my hand in. I just let my so you can even show you with the ball so I can make a ball that didn't turn out very well I think I'm I'm gonna need some more but yeah so I can hold it I have a little ball and then it just melts I'm gonna try to get some more corns um whatever the thing is called in here and plexus also helps with thyroid I don't know what exactly what it does, but it helps a lot, and it mainly helps out with your gut and including your restrictions. Oh, let's see, I just had a ball there. Let's see. Alright, I have a ball, I have a ball, and it just melts. Let's see if I can get a ball in the air to catch. <laughs> Invisible ball. Let's see. Hey. That drip off my hand so I can see if I can get a bigger one. Well, that feels. There we go. I've got one. I have some, and it just melts. Gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more corn syrup. I should also go wash my hands off real quick. Let's see. Cornstarch. That's a noisy chair. I will clean this all up. Okay, okay that should be enough. That might have been a bit too much. I love the way the cornstarch sounds. Oh, wait, that's going to work. And I just like literally run off. But see, it was just like hard and I wanted to stick. But then when I let it go, it just melts. Ah, uh, here, I can have the ball, I'm playing with it, and then it melts. I'm playing, I'm playing, it melts. I will say mixing this is actually hard to, ow, that hurt, that was my fingernail. It's a ball, it's a ball, it's a ball. And then it melts. It, that's a weird feeling when it melts. And I'm holding something solid. I'm trying to get it to pass back and forth. It's a very... Yeah. Then you let your hands sink through. They're all the way at the bottom. I can wiggle my fingers in. And then I try to pull up. And it just like literally takes me. And then it melts. And this is not from the body's heat. You can literally go stick your hand in the freezer and let it freeze or get like really cold and then come back in here and do the same thing. It's something about the density. Okay, you see I have a ball? 
and then it literally just melts. So that's fun. This it's random, but it's cool and it's fun. Let's see. You can literally dig yourself through to the bottom and it'll just melt. This is some random stuff. So you can also walk on it. I've seen so many people walk on it and then when they stand there it will sink. Okay, I'm gonna try to catch or do the a ball catching thing. Let's see. Oh, that feels weird. It kind of reminds me of an eel for some reason. Eel. Oh, let's see. I covered up that. Let me get the name. Or the phone number back out. There we go. Oh. My hands are buried. I'm like going around with my fingers and some gel. It's just so weird. Okay, can you guys see that I have a ball? And then it just melts. If you pause the video at the right time when I'm holding it, you can actually see it's hard and then it, it'll just melt. I'll do that a few times so you can try to pause it. Also try to go slower so you have a better chance. And then it'll melt right back into the weird thing in the chest. Oh, wow. I would also not recommend this for little kids, at least, for little kids, at least have adult supervision and at least as old as three or four. Yeah, I can poke it. And you can see my hand's fully under, so it's the bowl. If it's not that shallow, I'm going to move my hand over. And then my fingers are completely covered, and then when I go over here and go push, it won't allow me to. But if I just let them sink, that's crazy. I want to fill, like, a bathtub. Or something that I could sit in with this stuff and actually see what it's like to move or be stuck. But I'm also very claustrophobic, so um, I don't know how that would go. Melting. Alright, well, I am going to go wash my hands off and then I'll be right back if I can even shut the thing off. Alright, I'm back. My phone is a disaster with powder and oobuck all over it. And if you didn't get it, this is the phone number one last time for the Plexus. I just wash off my hands. That's probably not a good idea. Oops. Alrighty. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um... Please subscribe, share with all your friends. I'm trying to get to 150 subscribers by the end of 2025. Um, well, goodbye.